Welcome to Dadashi Science. We hope you find this video easy to understand and helpful to you on your science journey. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can continue to produce more helpful science content. Isotopes help us calculate the average atomic mass of elements, which is the number you see in the bottom of the square in the periodic table. In this video, we are going to learn about isotopes and how they are just different variations of the same atom. In order to understand what an isotope is, there are a few concepts you need to remember from other videos. What is an atom, element notation, and determining the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in an atom. If you do not remember this information or need a refresher, please check out our videos on all of these topics. An isotope occurs when we have the same element, but they have different masses. You should recall from our previous video on determining the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in an atom, that the mass number comes from the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. You should also remember that in order to keep the element the same, you have to keep the number of protons the same. This means that the only way to have the same element but a different mass is to change the number of neutrons. Simply put, an isotope forms when you have the same element but a different mass, meaning the same number of protons but a different number of neutrons. Let's take a look at a few examples. Here we have sodium-22 and sodium-23. We know that sodium-22 will have 11 protons and 11 neutrons, while sodium-23 will have 11 protons and 12 neutrons. If you need a refresher on element notation or how to determine the number of protons, neutrons, or electrons in an atom, please check out our other videos on these topics. Sodium-22 we know has 11 protons because of the atomic number from the periodic table. We know that the mass number is 22 because that's the number we see in the top left corner. So we know that for the mass to be 22, we also need 11 neutrons. Whereas sodium-23, the only difference is the mass is changing from 22 to 23. The element is staying as sodium, so that's why you see they both have 11 protons. In order for the mass of sodium-23 to be 23, that would mean we would need to have 12 neutrons. These represent isotopes because we have the same element, sodium, but they have different masses. One has a mass of 22 and one has a mass of 23. In this example, we have carbon-12 and carbon-13. We know that carbon-12 will have six protons and six neutrons. It has six protons because that's the atomic number from the periodic table. We know that the mass number is 12 because that's the number we see in the top left corner. So in order for the mass to be 12, we also need six neutrons. For carbon-13, we see that this also has six protons. The reason that this has the same number of protons as carbon-12 is because they are both the element carbon. In order for the mass for carbon-13 to be 13, that would mean we would need seven neutrons. These represent isotopes because we have the same element carbon, but they have different masses. One has a mass of 12 and one has a mass of 13. Whenever you have the same element but a different mass or the same number of protons but a different number of neutrons, you will have an isotope. Now you know that an isotope is when you have the same element but a different mass, and this results due to a different number of neutrons. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to help us be able to produce more helpful science content. If there is a specific topic you need help with, please let us know in the comments.